हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ अ सेकेंड ऑनलाइन बायो क्लास फॉर क्लास नाइन नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो विच आई हैव अपलोडेड प्लीज़ गो टू द यूट्यूब चैनल एंड यू विल गेट टू सी दैट आई हैव नॉट नेम्ड इट सो प्लीज़ गो थ्रू इट दिस इज बिकॉज दैट इज दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट क्लास एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड क्लास ऑन द फ्लावर ओके नाउ इन द लास्ट क्लास we have done up to the various functions of floral parts now today we'll be focusing on the structure of stamens now as i have said stamens are the male reproductive parts of a flower it has got two main parts filament and anther anther has got two lobes in it if we observe the internal structure we'll get to see that it has got two lobes each lobe has got two pollen sacs that means in total four pollen sacs they have within which pollen grains are situated now when these pollen sacs matures they ruptures and liberate pollen grains i hope it's clear now what is the way it gets dispersed now we'll see a diagram of the pollen sac see this is the structure of the pollen sac and you can see there are four pollen sacs and this is the cross sectional view of a of an anther lobe and within which the pollen grains are located we can see the filament portion also and here we can see the structure of various shapes of pollen grains okay next we'll see various arrangements of androecium androecium means you know it's a collective term we use for stamens now there are three three types monadelphous diadelphous and polyadelphous monadelphous means mono means one we all know it united in one group by filaments where the anthers are free example very commonly found china rose or hibiscus diadelphous that means when the filaments are united in two bundles example p polyadelphous that means united by filaments in several groups and its example is bombax now bombax is a scientific name so you will always start it with a capital letter and you have to underline it see this is the structure or rather the types of arrangement of stamens monadelphous that is single group diadelphous that means two groups and polyadelphous that means several groups i hope it's clear it's there in your book also go through it next part is internal structure of ovary here you can see i have jotted down three points very briefly inner cavity may be single chambered or several chambered each contains rounded bodies known as ovules and the swollen region in the ovary is called placenta now these three uh, points are very important regarding internal structure of ovary now we'll go through two uh, very important definitions from this chapter one is inflorescence it is the mode of arrangement of flowers on the axis of the plant that means how the flowers are arranged on the axis of the plant or on the shoot of the plant we'll see a picture see these are four structures or rather inflorescence modes of inflorescence which are shown in your book that these are the four ways how the flowers can be arranged on the axis of the plant i hope it's clear placentation it is the manner in which the ovules are arranged in the plant ovary this is another very important definition please learn it now next and the last thing which is there in your in this book in your syllabus is the sexuality in plants now there are two kinds of plants we can find monoecious and dioecious again here mono means one diamonds two monoecious plants means where in the same plant male and female flowers are arranged example maize pumpkin 
two examples for each you have to learn okay that means in the same plant we can find both the staminate flower and the pistillate flowers and dioecious means where in different plants we can find male and female flowers separately that means it's a plant where we can find either staminate flowers or pistillate flowers i hope it's clear example palm papaya etc okay students now at the back of the chapter if you have this question this figure you can see question number 2 which i am showing here in the video if this question is there at the back of your chapter then i have written the answers for this question here they have given a uh, diagrammatic or schematic diagram of a uh, flower and they have asked for labeling so name the parts numbered 1 to 10 so they have asked for labeling now i have labeled all the numbers 1 to 10 you can jot it down number 1 will be anther number 2 filament number 3 ovule number 4 placenta number 5 stigma number 6 style number 7 ovary number 8 petals number 9 sepals or calyx number 10 receptacle i think you have jotted down this is the picture okay now next question is this one they have given here a diagram and they have asked which major organ of a flower does the figure a represent and what is the collective name of such organs number b are the contents of the pollen sacs in b male or female and number c can you guess how the contents of the pollen sacs would come out i hope this question is also there in your book at the back of the chapter now for this i have again written the answers number a question answer will be stamen for the first part and for the second part androecium number b the answer will be male and number c the answer will be when pollen sacs mature it bursts open to liberate the contents that is pollen grains i hope the video is clear to you thank you